Yo, what's up guys, it's International O, oh, <clears throat> back at it with another one. First and foremost, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, greatly appreciated. It goes a long way on the channel. As you can see in the background, today's video, I have Ron Got Soul. Like I said, every, every video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to do uh, someone that does sneaker YouTube that I respect and admire for what they do. I had Bobby Sneaker World on the last video. This video I got Ron Got Soul. Actually, um, I think I just stumbled across one of his videos a while back. Then I ran into him at the Sneaker Summit uh, and found out he was actually from Houston. So, you know, much salute, fellow H-Town uh, homie. So, much respect to Ron Got Soul and his videos and what he does. If you're looking for style, like, he styles his outfits, kicks, Ron Got Soul. Check him out. Um, today, uh, this video... I'm doing is something different, very different. I actually saw a video from Hess Kicks. I was watching one of his videos because you know the Yeezy Foam Runner came out out of nowhere and they sold out quick and resale on those are just ridiculous. Like I'm not paying $400 for a, uh, a croc. That's pretty much what it is. And the prices that they're charging are a croc, -a, yeah. So, this uh, shoe I found, well, I didn't find it. I watched uh, his kicks video and he stressed how comfortable they were. So I said, I'm going to check a pair out myself. I bought them retail is 50 bucks. Now what I'm going to do on these videos, because I noticed and some people may not watch them in its entirety because of certain comments or questions that I asked in the video and I don't see comments on them. So I'm going to kind of give a layout, talk about the shoe, show you the shoe, do it on foot. Now, after I do that on foot, you might want to hang on if you're interested to find out sizing and how shoes fit. So after I do the on foot, I'll tell you how they fit. True to size, half up, half down, full up, full down. You'll get that layout. Um, so we're going to do this one. And it's not particular. I wouldn't even say it's a shoe. It's um, a child, I'll say. When you take the Yeezy Foam Runner, and you take a croc and you put them together. You get this shoe. Uh, it's from the company Merrill. Uh, they make these. And uh, like I said, when I saw his kicks, they have various colors. I got this one because I didn't want really a colorful set of these. But like I said, when I saw him do it, I said, yeah, let's try it out. And here we are. The Merrill Hydro Croc is what this is called. Hydro cock croc? No, hydro mock. I'm sorry. This is a hydro mock. A Merrill Hydro Mock. So uh, it's like a hybrid croc slash foam runner. And I don't I don't own a pair of crocs. Um this shoe is soft, so it might be very comfortable. Just by me touching this, you can see how soft this is. I know it's something different, looks a little unorthodox to most. Um, but like I said, you know me, I wear what I like. I probably won't wear it like it's just everyday wear, but I might wear something like this to the store or Walmart or something to run errands. Actually, this is actually, I think, a hunting shoe, a shoe that uh, hunters wear in water. So if you're fishing or something like that, I think they wear these. But you know, man, in, in this day and age, we turn whatever into style or just wear it out of comfort. The most Nike shoes are, are dedicated to running and basketball, but we wear them for everyday casual wear. Um, and this, like, so here you see the Merrill branding in the back. And like I said, this shoe is it's soft. I mean, you can see how it bends. It's very soft, so I can imagine. Then here on the inside, it has little pods where, you know, it kind of makes it comfortable for your foot. So right here where the Merrill sign at, it's like a big circle right here so a different little pods has some decent treading here on the sole of the shoe so you won't just slide necessarily in it um this is a dope this is a dope croc to me i'm not gonna call it croc hydro mock this is a dope hydro mock to me i can't complain i like it i like it this is something i can see myself rocking it has a little part in the back so if you buy this shoe and i'm guessing if it's too big maybe you can put that down and it, you, as you can see, it kind of pushed it in some in the back. So it gives you that extra support if you need to push it up. Um, 
I think these are true to size, or they might run big. I think Hess said he got a, a 10, even though he wore a nine and a half or something like that. Um, but it was a little big on him. Uh, I think, so they may run true to size or big. It's possible that they run big. Uh, the site that I went on to get these from, there were no half sizes. So it was like nine through 13. And I got a 13. And I'm gonna try it out on feet and uh, let you guys see how they look. I mean, I know they may not be stylish, but I'll still let you guys see how they look. And like I said, after the on foot, I'll tell you how they fit. And uh, you can go from there. So that's pretty much it, man. I just wanted to show you guys and share this with you guys. It looks like a pretty comfortable shoe, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to take it to the feet and yeah. We're gonna see what it does. See, I didn't know it had, it's kind of like a marble, and that's how I could tell it's a hunting shoe, because it's almost like a camo. So it's black, but you see like little paint, little waves of marble, kind of like a different paint on it, instead of it being a solid color. Um, I didn't see solid colors. Like if I, if I found this in a solid color, I would probably buy a pair, like a black or a red or something like that in a solid color. I would probably cop it and rock it. But I am still pleased with this one because like I said, it's for the purpose that it's going to serve me running errands and, you know, doing something real quick. It'll serve its purpose for that. Um, now, if they had different colors, I might pull it off, pull it off to the mall or something. If they had a different solid colors, I just saw a lot of mixed colors, like red and blue and orange and pink or something like that. But if they had, like, if I find some solid color ones, I might pull it off. I might, might, might pull it off. But again, here we go. This is it. Merrill Hydro Mock. I will put it down in the description. And I will also put a link down in the description where I got mines from. Retail is $50, 50 bucks. Um, but if you're lucky, you might find a couple coupon codes. So here we go. Let's get to the feet. I'm crawling 84 spokes, 418s ain't no joke. Me and Cutler stunting, they shine at 504 folks. Slab sitting so low, Jay sitting on low pros. Either way it go, I miss something that's crawling so slow. 12 car, entourage, moving it back. We known for candy coated blue, we blue on the leg. The red line right behind, crawling slow today. Look like a fresh stock of cranberry ocean spray. Hey, riding on flats, cruising so 22s are glistening. Should I choose to mention it's sunny, so now the roof is missing. It's like a mirage when they crawling on the air. Took my gal to the bed, hit the garage and get the slab. All right, so in conclusion, that mock is, I would say, is true to size. Um, if you were a nine and a half, I would go 10, if you get what I'm saying. You might not want to go nine, it might be tight. So if, if they don't have half sizes, go up a half a size. I would say that for the mock. It's comfortable. It is comfortable. Extremely, extremely comfortable. You will enjoy it. Trust me, you will enjoy it. Um, one more thing I forgot to tell you guys before I go. Somebody got lucky twice this week, Saturday and today. We'll have those videos soon. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Until next time. And I'm going to leave Ron Gosso's description, uh, his information in the description. Check him out. We out.